this so it's that time of the month again where we are sharing our take five art journal collaboration and this month was really really fun our lovely re chose the prompts for us and oh my these prompts were challenging but i had so much fun creating this page and i'm so so happy what i did so first of all i'm gonna tell you what i'm doing right now i took a layer of a napkin and I put some Amsterdam matte gel medium on my page and I'm just scrunching up the, the tissue paper Sim um, because it gives a nice texture. Texture, <clears throat> And one of the prompts is add two types of texture. So that is what I'm doing here. So to take you to all, through all the prompts, um, it's add two types of texture, use staples or breads, Use an item from the kitchen, a monochromatic color scheme, and use oldest item currently in your stash. So this was really, really fun. I really had to think of this. And um, when I started this page, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do. So this is really me going for it and thinking along as I go. Um, in this collaboration there are 12 or 11 other ladies we are with 12 ladies right now and uh, they are all linked down below so i would love it if you would check them out we also would love it if you would uh, participate in this challenge post your um, video or uh, instagram post with hashtag take five arts we can all check it out if you post make a video please let me know so i can put it in the playlist i'm not much on youtube right now and i'm not really searching for things so uh, i would really appreciate it if you would send me a link or tell me that you made a video so i can go over to your channel and add it to the take five playlist so now i'm taking some gesso and i'm going for it with a spatula it was a long time ago that I did something like this, but it would all, um, I thought it would give a nice texture. So that is what I did. And now I'm taking some stamps. It's a Carabella Studio stamp. And this is the first time that I'm using it. And I think I should have used it on a not so textured underground, uh, as you will see in a second. Um, but I think that is all that I want to tell about the collaboration and... Um, I hope you will check out all the other ladies and I will pop in when I have something to tell you about this page. Now I'm taking another stamp. This one is from by Finnebear and it's called Bubbles. And I'm going to stamp this with archival ink in watering can. And this is something that I really like to do when I don't have a clue uh, of what I want to do. It's just to put some stamps on the background, put some texture down and go from there. Because then it's not a blank page anymore and there is something and it takes the pressure off for me. Uh, I'm making sure this is dry because I noticed when I was stamping that the gesso wasn't dry completely and now I take my Amsterdam acrylic paints and uh, I want to tell you that all the colors and uh, names are listed down below in the description box so you can find them for yourself and I'm going to paint my background also with spatula because I really really liked the texture and it is such a fun process it, it's just really relaxing and I'm just playing around with my paints and I really really love doing this and this takes me to the second prompt that I complete and that is the monochromatic color scheme of course I pick blue because blue is my favorite color so of course I pick blue this is my third prompt and that is a use an item from the kitchen we recently had a barbecue with our friends and um, we had some plastic knives and forks uh, still laying around here so i took a plastic fork uh, to make some uh, texture in my page and i really really enjoyed this so i think i need to get these things in my stash permanently <laughs> now i'm taking some white acrylic paint and this harlequin stencil by tim holtz and this is my fourth prompt because this was the first stencil i ever bought so i consider this as one of my oldest items currently in my stash and as you can see it is a very well used so i want to give you some tips on how i stencil because I had some questions about seeping paint through. 
Uh, I use a makeup sponge or a cosmetic sponge to stencil and when I put it in a paint I blot it off a little bit so the excess paint will go off um, and I don't use too much paint on my uh, stenciling and I dab it when I stencil so don't no rubbing because when you rub uh, it probably will get under the stencil but if you dab it on um, then it will be fine I think uh, now I drew a heart and I'm going to uh, paint my heart with gesso and my fingers. I love using my fingers. This is just so relaxing and this page really, really was so relaxing for me to make. And I had so much fun and I let go. It was uh, wonderful. So I like to do this um, to draw out my shape a bit so I have a reference guide and I can tweak it while I paint it. And that's what I did. Now I am going to dry this and after um, when it's dry I'm taking my Faber Castell gelatos and my Neo color 2's and as I said the colors that I used are listed down below so you can check out which colors I used and I'm going to add some shading and some doodling and I really love to use my gelatos for this uh, I've been neglecting them a little bit lately so I thought this was the perfect page to uh, try this on and uh, I wanted to give my heart some depth and uh, I will also use a black gelato later on and a black neo color to to draw because I really wanted to have an outline on my a heart but I didn't want it to be as harsh as with a pen and pens don't really work on gelato so I thought a neo color too was perfect and of course I need to do an outline <laughs> because it's my art journal page and I do this on, on everything. I really wanted to add another texture to my page. So I am taking this lace ribbon lacy thing and I am planning on stapling this to my page. So that will complete the use staples or breads or both, whatever you like uh, on this um, art journal page. Um, I was also thinking about using another ribbon, but I thought it covered up too much from my page. So I didn't want to use that, but I definitely use the lace one and I left this in for you so you can see what I do when I'm not quite sure on what to do. I just play around with it and uh, look what I like. I sometimes even take a photo or I look at my camera scheme to get a screen to get another perspective because sometimes that helps too, to get another perspective on your page and you can see what is missing. So I'm stapling this on my art journal page. This is the first time that I do this and it's quite scary uh, because the staples go through the, through the page. So I'm really looking forward to work on the other side and find a way to cover it up or to make it work in my page. And um, <clears throat> after I'm done with this, I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to write a quote on there. So at first I thought I really want to do a fancy writing one. Uh, but then I thought it wouldn't fit my, um, like, uh, how my page was going. So the flow of my page. <laughs> so I'm just using my regular handwriting-ish to add the quote. And I, um, I didn't know about this when I started. And I was like, hmm... I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but when I cut it up and I put it on my page, I thought it was just, it was just perfect. It, it looked, it looked like it meant to be there. I didn't like the bottom part with a good heart. So I rewrote, rewrote it and I cut it out again and I put it on my page and I am really, really happy with how this one turned out. I noticed that I missed some black on the edges, so I take my stays on jet black to ink up the edges of my pieces of paper so they would blend in a little bit more uh, in my page. And uh, after that, I'm going to stick them down on my page.
So if you are a regular watcher, you know that I use gold splatter all the time, but in my opinion that was not monochromatic. So I had a little bit of a think and I took my brush pewter distress paint because it's silver. So I thought, well, gray, silver, that's monochromatic, right? And I splattered with silver paint and I forgot how much I like this and I forgot how much I like this color of distress paint. So I went all out with the splatters. I had so much fun splattering and I make some dots on my page and it gave me the feeling of splatters, but it was not gold, which is really good for me. And that completes my art journal page. I ho really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check out all the other ladies. And if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And I hope you want to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!